Show them how you can stack blocks. Stack them. Good boy. Good job. Yay. Good job, buddy. Whoop. Welcome back to Down Syndrome Diaries. In my last video, I told Carter's birth story and I talked a lot about what this channel is going to be about. In his birth story, I mentioned that the pediatrician detected a heart murmur and I didn't really elaborate on that. So this week, I wanted to elaborate on that. Please excuse the way my voice sounds. I'm coming down with a little, little bug. Carter was diagnosed, along with being diagnosed with Down Syndrome at birth, he was also diagnosed with CHD. And what that stands for is congenital heart defect. And congenital means born with. So he was born with a heart defect. It's not something that happened after birth. It's something that happened in utero. Before I go any further and explain um, what happened when Carter was born, I want to give you guys some facts on CHD and Down syndrome and how those two are very commonly placed together. Um, CHD occurs in almost 1% of births nearly 40,000 infants each year are born with CHD. That's in the U.S. alone. 25% of children born with CHD have to have open heart surgery. Cause of most CHDs are often unknown. About 15 to 20% of CHDs are genetic. And then the rest are sort of just, they just happen. Now I want to talk about Down syndrome and CHD. So in the U.S., there are about 6,000 babies born with Down syndrome each year. Approximately half of all infants born with Down syndrome have CHD. The most common defects with Down syndrome are atrioventricular septal defect. Basically what atrioventricular septal defect is, atrial and ventricular together. That's how you get atrioventricular. Atrial septal defect is a hole between the heart's upper chambers, the atria. Ventricular septal defect is a hole between the pumping chambers of your heart. Another common CHD is persistent ductus arteriosus. Um, what that is, it's a problem that's caused during the heart's development. When a child is born, there's like, there's this duct that's supposed to close. If it doesn't close, it's called persistent. It causes an increased flow of blood into the lungs. And then the other most common um, heart defect is tetralogy of flow. That is what Carter has. There are four things that sort of go into tetralogy of flow. One is ventricular septal defect, VSD. Second thing is a narrowing of passage from the right ventricle to the lungs. Uh, the third is you get an over enlarged right ventricle because of backup of blood. Is it? The fourth is an overlarged aorta and it carries blood from the left ventricle to the body. So that's everything that goes into tetralogy of flow. When Carter was born, they detected the heart murmur. They immediately started running some tests to send off to the pediatric cardiology department at UAB. Tuesday, they gave us the diagnosis of um, tetralogy of flow and ventricular septal defect. And no one really took the time to explain to us what tetralogy of flow is. And the person who delivered those that news to us was the same doctor who delivered the Down syndrome diagnosis to us. And I, she kept asking us if we had any questions, but what were what was going through our minds at that time? We we were still trying to process everything that she was telling us. So no, we didn't have any questions. So when Carter was two days old, we were still in the hospital. They were going to keep us in the hospital until his jaundice went away. And the nurses came in to take Carter away to give him a, a bath again. And they were actually giving him a bath this time. And once again, he had been gone for a long time. And we were getting very worried because now we know it's not normal for, for them to take him away. And we were already on high alert just from everything going on. Carl kept going outside to ask people, hey, um, you know, where's my kid? So where's my infant? And, you know, this is taking a long time. Once again, please tell me where he is. Is he okay? Uh, what's going on? Well, they kept giving him the runaround and sending him back. Oh, we'll go check on him. We'll go check on him. And we, we never heard from anyone. So after the hour and a half passed, 
a woman came bursting through the door. She introduced herself. Hi, I'm Dr. Morris. Uh, Carter's doing just fine. He's okay. Um, something happened, but he is completely stable right now and he's fine. So she assured us that he was safe and he was okay, but she wanted to explain to us what happened. When they took him back to give him a bath, Carter got incredibly upset and worked up and like any other infant does, you know, when they're uncomfortable, he, he started crying and it caused him to have something called a tet spell. Basically a tet spell is, he already had a, uh, a lot of narrowing in his pulmonary valve. Well, when he got worked up the way he did, it tried to completely close up on him and it would have cut off all oxygen to his lungs. Uh, we've told this story a few times before, but I don't think a lot of people know that we almost lost Carter. We, we almost lost him that night. If it wasn't for Dr. Morris stepping up the way she did, she, man, she, she saved our son's life. And she immediately called a, a jet to come get him from UAB and they could determine when he would need open heart surgery. So finally the jet came, the nurses picked him up, loaded him up onto the, onto the jet. And one of the nurses flying with him on the jet, uh, we exchanged phone numbers and she ended up sending me pictures from the flight. We followed them up to Birmingham and we stayed in observation. They would have let us out after about five days, um, but we ended up staying a week up there because we got stuck in the snow. Um, that was the year of Snowmageddon. Anyone around that area will know exactly what I'm talking about. And it was a very tough week. We're all just really trying to process this and sort of just prepare for what we have ahead of us. The doctors told us that, you know, they after after steady observation, they wanted to perform open heart surgery on Carter after about supposed to be whenever he was six months old. So we got to take him back home after a week, and we we didn't really slow down our life. We were just very cautious. Carter had a very gray tone to his skin that was causing his skin color to turn almost like a blue-gray color. But we were going back and forth often to Birmingham to uh, keep an eye on the severity of his heart defect. So on April 11th, it was on a Friday in 2014, we had an appointment in Birmingham for them to, to run some tests and uh, do their regular checkup. And they ended up keeping us after they checked his SAT levels. They had dropped um, significantly low. I believe it was in the low 70s. They decided to um, go ahead and start making arrangements to do open heart surgery. So they sent us over to Children's Hospital. They scheduled his open heart surgery for the following Wednesday on April 16th. His condition was just drastically getting worse. It was the first case to go in on Wednesday morning and have his open heart surgery done. I did a, a little bit of videoing and filming while we were there. Uh, I didn't do a whole lot, but I'll add some, some clips and pictures throughout that time. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Hello, Maggie Poo. <laughs> Hello, Carlton. Yeah. Go. Uh oh, a lot of work this thing. Alfalfa. Hey, fat boy. Carter, you yeah, on spit me. all over mama. Spit <laughs> on her. Don't spit on me. Don't spit on me. You better not spit on mama. You better not. What are you doing with that boy? Say hey daddy. Carter. Say what's up daddy. What's going on boy? Daddy -o. He says I got a full belly. <laughs> I got a full belly. Carter, so today is... I can see up your nostrils son. <laughs> This thing's got a zoom on it. Ooh, you got boogies up there. You got boogies up there, yeah. I gotta get those boogies out. <laughs> I gotta get those boogies out. I do, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Say, today is April... You don't even know. What's the date, Meg? <laughs> April 13th? No. No? April 14th. 
Yeah. Okay. Today is April 14th, 2014. And my name is Carter Dix. What you doing? Hey. What are you doing? Are you gonna laugh? Are you gonna laugh? Hey big boy. Hey big boy. I go get you sugars. I go get you sugars. Yes I am. Yes I am. I am gonna get those sugars. I got those sugars. I did too. Too. I got your sugar. I got your sugar. Yeah, I did. I got your sugar. I got your sugar. I did. That was good sugar. That was good sugar. Yeah, it was. Blue eyes. Blue eyes. Yeah, you got some blue eyes. Yeah, you got some pretty blue eyes. <laughs> Boy, you don't even know how to laugh. You got some pretty blue eyes. Yeah. You do. Some pretty, pretty blue eyes. You tell the camera, say, this is my third day? Fourth day? Third and a half day. Third and a half day? <laughs> no, I got here Friday I've afternoon. I've been here for three and a half days at Children's Hospital because I have a heart defect and it needs to be fixed and we gonna get it fixed this week yeah and I'm gonna feel so much better afterwards I am I am my heart's gonna be repaired I just gonna be moving around and I'll pitch a fit and it won't bother me I won't turn blue anymore that's right that's right you won't look like a blueberry no more you won't you won't look like a blueberry when you I'll cry tell you, mama, you won't look like a smurf yeah, you won't look like a little baby Smurf. I know you won't. No, you won't. Tell Mama she's a ding dong. They are not. Tell her. They are not. Tell her she's a ding dong. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her she's a ding dong. Say, Mom, here, ding dong. Tell her. Look, she's got you in the she's got you in the video camera. Mm, tell her she's ding dong. Tell her. Tell her. Oh, baby talk. Yeah. Tell her. Your show's coming on TV. You hear your show coming on TV? Carter likes the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> That's his favorite show. His favorite thing to watch. And when it comes on, he's glued. <sighs> no. It's not over there. He's like, I hear it, but I don't see it. Oh. Huh? Nope, I'm not giving a shot. No. I'm not giving her shot. Yeah. You so cute. You so handsome. You mama's handsome boy. Huh? Are you mama's handsome boy? Oh boy. You got your daddy's lips. You got your daddy's lips. Everything else is mine. Yeah. Yeah, you look just like your mama. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. Yeah, tell me. Tell me. You want to see if he's still hungry? Hey, boy. Let me get a, a close up at those blue eyes. Ooh. Carter. Look at that he's got. Pretty blue eyes. Tell mama quit looking at your eyes like a little girl. Hmm. You want this? Okay. If anybody tells us you have weak muscle tone, I'm going to tell them to try to burp you. Yeah. And then we'll see about weak muscle tone. 
He found the big bang theory. <laughs> and he is glued. Alright, Carter. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll see you later. Good night. Night night. Give mom the thumbs up again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, almost. Thumbs up. There, oh. There it almost went. All right, boy. Yeah, I know sometimes too. Like, yeah, you need to bring those sats up. Just, just yeah, you do. Oh, you need to bring those sats up. Yeah. <laughs> Why aren't you bringing those sats up? We don't like those low sats. No, we don't. We don't like those. We don't like those at all. No, mm -hmm. we don't. No. Oh, what is it? <laughs> what is it? Oh gosh. Wait, what is that thing on your hand, mom? <laughs> All right, buddy. Chimo. Hey, big boy. Hey, big boy. How are you doing? I got those darn hiccups. I'm a girl, I get hiccups. Say yes. You were talking to it earlier. Huh? Is that one of the Whoa, boy. Yeah, the hiccups make him gag. Ooh. Carter boy. Today is the big day. Carter has his surgery this morning. Yeah. It is 6.30 already. Yeah, they should be in here any minute to take him away. I told her not to turn on. We him into the surgery room. I did. Yeah, I did. And Carter is dead to happy yeah. as a lark. Yeah, I told her not to turn it off. Yeah, tell her to turn it off. Tell her. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Mm. No, 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 you don't cry. Ah! <laughs> oh, gosh. You look like Keegan for a second. Yeah. Ah! 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 You don't smile, fat boy. What is it? <coughs> Bugaboo. What's he doing? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. You making that old man face? What's he making that old man face? What's he doing, big boy? Big boy. I'm so hungry. We can't feed him. It ain't fair. No, it ain't. It ain't fair. Oh, Carter. So next time you see me, camera, I'm gonna be a new baby with a new heart. Well, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same one. <laughs> <laughs> I know, baby, you don't feel good. You want to eat? Alright, buddy. I'll get the camera out your face. Say goodbye. Next time you see me, I'm going to be a new baby. Yeah. Carter. Hey, Booker boy. 
Today is April 20th. This is Carter's fourth day out of surgery. Carter is three months old today. And today is Easter Sunday. And Carter is doing so, so good. So good. They're talking about letting us go home on Monday, which is tomorrow. <laughs> Say hey, Carter. Say hey, bud. <gasps> little man. Hey, little man. <laughs> hey, my buddy. What are you doing? Hey, my buddy. Carter's been so happy. Yeah. Him feels a lot better. Him feels a lot better. Yeah. The surgery went great. Doctor said he did well. Took it like a champ. Woohoo! Yeah. That's right. There's his battle wound. His battle wound. Took it like a champ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, you gonna have a bunch of battle scars. Yeah, you gonna have a bunch of battle scars. Yep, he'll take that IV out of his neck here pretty soon. And they already took that was where his chest tube was and his pacemakers, just in case they needed them. They never had to use them, but just in case, they put them there and there. Yep. Then he had his IV line here. That was his artery line. That's his central line. Then he had two IVs on this arm. But they took all that stuff out because Carter did so good. He's a tough boy. He was a tough cookie. He was a tough cookie. Blue eyes. Ooh, blue eyes. Carter don't even need to be on oxygen, him doing so good. He said he don't need that oxygen. He got all the air he needs. Yeah. Tell him, buddy. Tell him. Say, my name is Carter, and I am awesome. Alright, little man. All right, little Carter. Look at him pointing. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. After his open heart surgery, they kept him in the intensive care unit for, I believe it was just like a day. Um, he was incredibly resilient. Everything went perfect. If anything, it moved faster than they had expected, and Carter moved towards recovery faster than they had expected. He was doing so much better than they had even anticipated. So that it was wonderful. It was a blessing. And um, I have nothing to thank but God for that. Carter has an incredible testimony when it comes to his, his heart troubles. And he's just an awesome kid. You know, he truly is. He will need another repair in the future. That's because they had to use a transannular patch to widen his pulmonary valve. They patched up the hole from ventricular septal defect, but uh, he will need another repair for Tetralogy of Fallot, and they, they don't expect him to need a repair until the distant future. They said, be looking for it between 10 to 15 years of age. We, we worry about it, and it's kind of a big cloud that hangs over our heads for the future. However, God brought him through that first open heart surgery. He's going to bring him through the next one. You know, God is always faithful. And God has a plan for Carter in his life. And he makes it very clear every day why he's still here with us. He's doing so much with his life. And we're so proud of him. So that's it. That was Carter's CHD testimony. And, you know, as you can see now, he is just like any other three and a half year old child. You can look at his, at his chest and see his scar 
and you know he hardly ever wears a shirt anymore so uh, he likes to show it off he's gonna grow and continue to grow into this incredible young man you know we could sit and mope around about the fact that Carter's gonna have to have another repair in the future and the fact that Carter has Down syndrome but there's why why do that there's no reason to do that we celebrate his life every day because that's what it is it is life he has a beautiful life and I'm so proud of him so proud of him and everything that he is and everything that he's going to become it just makes me so happy anyway I, I hope you all are having a great day and I, I hope that this story can um, touch people please reach out to us give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I'll mainly put out new videos when I have something um, helpful to, to say. I just want this channel to be helpful to people. Go to our Facebook page, Down Syndrome Diaries, and like it, share it, uh, comment. I want you guys to connect with us. If you're on Instagram, look up Down Syndrome Diaries. Anyway, I'll link all that down below. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are having a great day. Bye-bye.